Hi, third, fourth, and fifth grade leaders. We're preparing for May 23rd in our series called The New Me. This is the last lesson in this series, but this is a good one. In fact, you might want to use this one to, for your own personal study um, because I think it's going to help you see, I know it has helped me, see things um, that I could be doing in my life that would project Jesus in a better way. And so our lesson today is from 2 Peter chapter 1. And what we see there is Peter is writing to, um, to the early church. And um, the church is beginning to experience persecution and suffering. Actually, it's not a beginning to because they have always had this persecution. People have not wanted Jesus's message to get out to anybody and Peter at this time is in a Roman prison. He's aware that his death is imminent. And um, he, so he's, he's encouraging all of the believers with everything that he knows to encourage them with through this, um, through this, this book of the Bible. He also in, um, warns them against false teachers um, and he said that to live like Jesus gives believers a measure for making sure they are following the truth. In other words, if you are a believer in Jesus, there should be fruit, if you will, or there should be um, evidence through your actions and your words and your attitude toward things that you are a believer, not um it's sometimes easy for us to say things and sometimes very easy for us not to do those things. And so what he's encouraging that um, people to do, to pay attention to, and so important for all of us, even now is to pay attention to the people who um, can say things, but you don't see that happening in their life. Um, and so there there's a couple questions that we want for you and the kids to consider is how do we live like Jesus and why do we live like Jesus? How first comes through the power of the Holy Spirit. If we are not a believer, then there is no way that you can begin to begin to live like Jesus. If you are not that believer and the Holy Spirit is not within you, then it would be very difficult for anybody to try to do these things in a Christ-like manner because we there's no way you can know truly who Christ is. And so, um, so that's first and foremost. And then second, that there are things that we should be pursuing as believers that help us get there. And this is um, what you'll use in your small group time, but all of these words are, are talked about in your lesson today. And so these should be fruit of um, someone who is a believer and someone who is sharing Jesus with others. Second, um, why do we live like Jesus? We live like Jesus to confirm our calling. In other words, because we believe in Jesus, he called everybody to tell other people about Jesus. Well, we can't exactly tell people about Jesus effectively if we're not living in a different way to show people um, what this means. And so very different than working working. Um, to earn faith, this is working out our faith so that we become more and more like Jesus as we continue to grow. In other words, this is not a step, a one and done, you did this, I can check this off. For the rest of our lives, we will continue to strive towards these things until Jesus calls us home. So your small group, act, your social activities today, you have a beach themed, just to get us all in the spirit for summertime coming up, and a beach themed I spy and a bag full of building supplies. And um, this is just to keep hands busy so that you can begin to talk to them and have conversations with your kids as they come in. These activities are really great, especially for our new kids, because it doesn't require for them to know anything ahead of time. 
Um, and it also gives them a reason um, because we keep the same activity every week. Um, if they are newer and they come in next week, they're going to realize, oh, we do this kind of thing all the time. And so it begins to build, build trust within your small group. You have your Roku channel um, that you can watch your large group teaching on, as well as your worship songs. And I just love watching you guys worship and um, learn to do that as a small group. It's so cool to watch how you guys have made that a part of every small group time. Then your, um, your small group activity, <laughs> I gave you giant dice today just because we have them and they're fun. So um, your dice, what you're going to do is get the kids to toss up their dice and see what number they landed on. And then my first number, I landed on a five. And you'll um, take your dry erase board or a big piece of paper, whichever one you want to use, and write these words on there. And so when somebody rolls a five, then you get to talk about in your small group, what are some ways that we can show what godliness looks like? So this should bring up a really great discussion, could lead you into your discussion questions that will help help guide you there. Um, if at any point during this discussion you wish to have some help um, with this discussion, please feel free to grab me. Um, I would love to be a part of helping you um, be more comfortable in this conversation. But I think um, it's going to be great for you to figure out um, ways that you can practically help the kids know how they can live out their faith. If you wanted to on your dry erase board or your or your poster, you could write everybody's ideas of what this looks like. Um, and that way they, they have a way to remember it and you can practice that together. Your um, key passage activity, the kids um, can use the cards on here to fill in the blanks so that um, they are beginning to learn this, this passage really well. And we call it a key passage because we want for kids to realize that um, the words in in the Bible are true. And because we believe that all the words in the Bible are true, then we can use all of those words to help us um, continue to grow in our faith or to work out our work out living in our faith. And um, so um, make sure to emphasize some of those words to kids so that it sinks in with them and that they realize that um, because the Holy Spirit comes to live with us um, as a believer, then we are new creations. You also have some coloring pages that um, can fill some more time. Thank you guys so much for leading. I love you so much, and I am so happy to serve Jesus with you.